Josh, what are some fun things that you know about time? Well, I know that no clock is 100% accurate. Very cool. I also know that when dinosaurs were alive, a year was 370 days long. Wow, anything else? Well, I also know that on Mercury, a day is two years long. Very cool. Well, the most important thing about time is that it waits for nothing, including solar panels, and it's waiting to claim us all. I'm Charlie. I'm Josh. And today we're going to be talking about when you can expect your solar panels to give up the ghost, what type of solar panel lasts the longest, what makes them degrade, and whether solar panel lifespan has improved over the years. We're Sunsave, we offer the UK's first solar subscription, which means you can switch to solar with no upfront costs, but more on that later. Right, let's start with the simple question, Josh, how long do solar panels last? Well, as with most pieces of tech, there's no exact estimate for how long they last, but if you have a modern monocrystalline solar panel, it'll typically last between 30 and 40 years. Interesting, so what usually happens after 40 years? Does a panel just completely stop working? Not exactly. A solar panel will degrade slightly every year, uh, more on that later. However, between 30 and 40 years is usually the point where the output drops so far that it stops producing a useful amount of electricity to cut your bills. Okay, cool. So you could continue with your solar panels up on your roof after the 40 year mark if you wanted to accept a, a slightly less than ideal level of output. Exactly, yes. If nothing else has gone wrong with them by that point, you could be fine. Hit, Hit the, the like, like button. button and subscribe. Josh, you just mentioned monocrystalline solar panels. I did indeed. What does that mean? Great question. Well, a monocrystalline solar panel is one that's made from a single block of silicon. So that makes them more darkly coloured, efficient and durable than polycrystalline solar panels, which are cheaper and less of all the things I just mentioned. OK, so what if I wanted to get the polycrystalline solar panels instead? How long would they last? They don't last quite as long, around 25 to 30 years, but it doesn't even really matter. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, in 2023, global production of polycrystalline solar panels dropped to 0%, which is not very much. So unless you're buying them secondhand, and we do have an article on that, uh, you can see it in the video description below, it doesn't really matter. And crucially, we don't recommend buying panels secondhand, and again, you can learn about that in the article. Josh, people in the solar panel industry love to bash polycrystalline solar panels. Yes, indeed. Like you've just done. Yes. But there is a polycrystalline solar panel array in Oldenburg University in northwest Germany that would like to have a word. Oh. This was installed in 1976 and is still producing loads of electricity. Wow. So there are 336 panels and they are 49 years old and counting mm. and they are 8.2% efficient, which is only four percentage points lower than their original efficiency rating. That's amazing. Oldenburg University, I doff my cap to thee. So given we've got these polycrystalline solar panels that have lasted nearly 50 years, it bodes really well for the monocrystalline solar panels that people are installing today. It does indeed. 30 to 40 years may end up being a very conservative estimate. I guess we haven't really had this generation of solar panels long enough to know how long they'll last. Exciting stuff, let's keep an eye on them as we age. So Charlie, these hefty solar panel lifespans must be very comforting for people who are looking to make a big investment in solar, but is there anything that guarantees that they will last that long? Are these solar panels of Oldenburg University not comfort enough for you, Josh? Uh, for most people, probably not. Right, well, solar panels come with two types of warranty, a product warranty and a performance warranty. The product warranty covers defects in the panel itself, and it usually lasts between 12 or 25 years, so that's the responsibility of the manufacturer. The other thing is the performance warranty, and this is a guarantee that the panel's output will be a certain percentage of its original rated output after a certain period of time, and this is usually between 25 and 30 years. OK, so what if it's a problem with my installation that causes the panels to stop working? Solar panel installers will usually provide you with a workmanship warranty, which is typically about two to three years long. Oh, that doesn't really fill me with confidence that my panels aren't going to stop working and I won't have anywhere to go. Should we pop inside and tell people about Sunsay Plus? Yeah, let's cut our hair too. Sunsay Plus is the UK's first solar subscription and it is designed to unlock solar for millions of households in the UK. With Sunsay Plus, you can switch to solar with no upfront costs. All you have to do is pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And it does stay absolutely fixed. No sneaky price rises, so you are fully protected against inflation from energy bills. You will immediately start saving on your energy bills and you will also earn income for exporting excess electricity to the grid. And these combined savings could exceed your monthly payment to Sunsave, which means you actually earn money each year despite paying a subscription. This means you don't have to wait years for payback, which is what most people have to do when they buy solar upfront. 
your best-in-class solar and battery system will also be protected by the SunSafe guarantee, which provides total peace of mind that your system will produce clean, green electricity for the duration of your subscription, without you having to raise a finger. The SunSafe guarantee includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24-7 monitoring and maintenance, comprehensive insurance provided by Aviva, and downtime cover. SunSafe Plus is built to be flexible, so you're in charge of your subscription. Therefore, you can make a full or partial early repayment at any point without incurring any fees, charges, or penalties. You also legally own your system from day one, which means that you will earn 100% of the export income. We don't take a cut. SunSafe Plus also doesn't require a roof lease or airspace lease, which have historically caused problems with mortgage providers in the past. To learn more about SunSafe Plus, head to our website, sunsafe.energy. There you can read way more about our subscription, watch interviews with people who already have it, and sign up yourself. Josh, you mentioned earlier that solar panels degrade slightly each year. I sure as hell did. Let's have some specificity, please. How quickly do they degrade? <laughs> Let's have some specificity, please. How quickly do they degrade? So we're talking about around 0.5% per year. So after about 30 years, they should still work at 87% of their original efficiency. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, although bafflingly, the polycrystalline solar panels at Oldenburg University have experienced a smaller drop in nearly 50 years. Does that make sense? Riddle me that. Riddle us that. So why does solar panel degradation happen? What's going on inside them? Funnily enough, the very first cause of solar panel decay is sunlight. Crazy. Basically, light-induced degradation, or LID, is what happens when a solar panel is first put in place. So that its efficiency will drop by between one and three percent. And then over the next few decades, UV rays will slowly degrade the back sheet until it's completely degraded. Damn, so there's nothing we can do to protect a solar panel from the harmful UV rays. Maybe a bit of sun cream. <laughs> you could hop up on your roof and sun cream your panels, but then Logically, you'd be defeating the whole purpose of having solar panels. And what else causes solar panels to degrade? There's also something called potential-induced degradation, or PID, which is when different components of a system operate at different voltages. As you can tell by its name, it doesn't happen to all panels, but sometimes manufacturers can get tripped up by the different voltages, and that will result in something called voltage leak, which can affect a solar panel over the decades. Deary me. Uh, anything else? Well, the last thing is just general aging, which you'll be familiar with. Uh, cold weather, hot weather, dust, debris, hail, all of these things can affect a solar panel over the decades. They can make the silicon, the glass, the frame, and all the parts of the panel degrade over time. And I'm sure Josh and I, we'd be more than capable of going into some very sciencey detail about why solar panel degrades, but I think that is best left for another video when we're inside. Yes. Charlie, is there anything people can do to make sure that their solar panels last as long as possible? Yes, there sure are, specifically four. Wow, fire away. Number one, use a good installer. It sounds very obvious, but there's no point getting premium kit if it's gonna be ruined by an improper installation by cowboy installers. Uh, always make sure your installer has the right accreditations, make sure they have lots of good reviews. We've done a whole article on the best installers in the UK. The link is in the video description. Number two. Number two is monitor your solar panel's output, which all happens on your solar panel app. Uh, you need to keep an eye out for any sharp drops in generation, because this could mean that one of your panels is suddenly in partial shading. And ironically, partial shading can cause something called hot spots, where parts of the panel overheats and they don't work well ever again. But Charlie, what if I'm too busy every day to check my solar panel app? What if I need to go on holiday and not have my toes freezing off? Well, that's where the Sunset Guarantee comes in. Uh, the Sunset Guarantee includes 24-7 monitoring and maintenance, so you do not need to worry about keeping an eye on your panels. Excellent. What about number three? Number three is keep your panels clean. Solar panels have a hydrophobic coating, which makes them waterproof, a little bit like my coat. Mm. Uh, so when it rains, it means the rainwater runs off them and it does cleaning in the process. In the UK, though, you still want to give your panels a proper clean every two to three years, or if you live near dusty farmland or the coast, maybe every six months or so. Because uh, if you don't clean it, you might leave bird poo on there, lichen, dirt, dust, and if it was allowed to build up, it could cause those pesky hot spots that I've just been talking about. And what is the best way to clean your solar panels? Well, you've got two main approaches. One is to do it yourself. Uh, the best way to get a telescopic cleaning pole, which you can use from ground level, you should never go up on your roof. And it's got to have a soft brush on the end so you don't void the manufacturer's warranty. You can get one of these online for like about 70 to 150 quid, or pay professionals to do it. There are a lot of window cleaners now that do it as a service. It costs about 10 pounds per panel. Excellent. And what is the fourth and final piece of advice that you have for us today? 
uh, stay on top of maintenance. Mm. A stitching time saves nine. It also saves your solar panels from deteriorating more quickly than they otherwise should. Uh, as with any electrical appliance or romantic relationship, a problem ignored could become something pretty serious further down the line. Yep. Uh, so, obviously, deal with problems quickly. The most important thing to do is to get an installer that isn't just going to happily install your system and then vanish afterwards. Find one that has maintenance support like us. We've done a whole article on whether a solar and battery system actually needs maintenance. It does. And you can find the link to that in the video description. So that, my dear viewers, is how long you can usually expect a solar panel to last. If you have a good set of monocrystalline solar panels on your roof, they should last between 30 and 40 years. If you want to learn more about solar, you can find our encyclopedic advice hub online, which is full of wonderful, helpful articles. And if you want to go solar, but you're put off by the very high upfront cost, we offer the UK's very first solar subscription, SunSave Plus, which means you can go solar with no upfront cost. You can sign up using the link below. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos. We have lots inside and outside. So long! So I, did, I thought we were going off camera as opposed to that way. <laughs>